Hi, I'm Jenny with Trackside Mono Railroading. We're trackside today at Pete Vassler's Canyon Creek Timber Railway. Here, we catch the number 8 Shea hauling the excursion train as it heads past the waterfalls and crosses the Squeaky Springs Trestle. This area is known for red-tailed hawks and falcons, and the special boxcar at the head end is full of photographers who are never disappointed. Old 77, as the CCT railway crews call this High Hood 660, hauls a wood product train over the river. I wonder if the railroad is losing passenger revenue, as it looks like it's offering a little unknown passenger service in the boxcars today. Down at the runoff drainage for the sawmill, we see some youths playing near the water. I wonder if they're looking for crawdads. The crew running the log train is heading down grade, and we see the train up above the old cabin. With number nine in the lead and number two helping, the crew keeps the log train under control on the steep grade down the mountain. Back at the sawmill, we catch foreign power on the railroad. That's the railroad's leased SPNS. The CCT Railway's interchange with the Spokane, Portland, and Seattle is not too far from here. We head back to Squeaky Springs Trestle, as we heard there was a mishap on the railroad after we left. It looks like quite a mess here.
Old 77 continues as it crosses the log pond and heads toward the yard. Canyon Creek Yard, we see 77 as it approaches. The locals said they're staging this train for when the derailment is cleaned up. Much later in the day, down at the creek, we catch number five, or as the crews call it, the bucket, as it crosses the water and the main road that leads to Canyon Creek. We see it again down by the sawmill, and we see the same kids. It looks like they are thoroughly enjoying the day down by the water. We head to the Canyon Creek Cafe. The place is lit up and really hopping, and our plan is to get dinner here as we hear the food is the best. 